Hello, I've been playing about with LED VU meters just recently and uh, this is an old mapping kit that you used to have to put together yourself and this one chip controls this set of 10 LEDs which is fine but if you want more you can sort of stack these along using kind of dividers between them but I thought that circuit's going to be a little bit too big and complicated. Uh, if you remember a long time ago I took a pot a huge Behringer mixer and I found this useful part in there and on one of these chips they control two sets of 12 LEDs but again it's not substantial enough for what I want. I really want something like these LED strips but I want to be able to put them stick them around the room and things and have them change colour and pulse to the music and work as VU meters as well but figuring out how to do it on one of these was nigh on impossible. And again, it's going to take a lot of cabling and microchips and all sorts of things. So I had a look on the uh, internet and I found a lot of people are actually using these WS2811s. Now this has a microchip in there and that controls three LEDs of red, green and blue each. And uh, that is apparently old technology already. I mean, I'm so behind on this stuff, it's unreal. So... I uh, dug in a little bit further and I found a great website called banggood.com. Now, these have W812s and that has got the actual microchip inside the LED. So each LED is individually addressable. That's their website if you want to check them out. Now, I bought, just to test, a one metre strip of these WS2812s. And on this one meter, there's 144 of these tiny little LEDs, which are all individually addressable, which is very nice. And this was £19.52 with free postage. So that worked out at 13 and a half pence per LED, which I actually think is quite cheap. Anyway, uh, you can cut these individually and wire them up separately if you wish. Now, the other thing was... How do I control them? Well, you can use a Raspberry Pi and you can use the Arduinos. I've got this old Arduino Mega that's been hanging around for a while waiting for a project. So I went onto the Arduino site and I was really surprised to learn that a lot of people have already written the code so that you can do VU meters and effects and displays and everything else like that. So great, all the hard work's been done, I think. So I'm going to attempt to uh, program this up and turn this into a 144 LED VU meter. So here's the uh, Banggood website here and these are the ones I chose WS2112B 5050 RGB LED changeable strips. Now you can buy these with just 30 LEDs per meter which is a lot cheaper or 60 LEDs per meter but actually for the amount of LEDs this 144 one actually works out cheaper. As I say, that makes them 13 and a half pence each. Now, let's have a look here. Five volts DC, that's great because I can run the Arduino off that voltage as well. And there's the ones that have 30 or 60 per meter on there. And uh, there's your sort of direction that the data runs. So the data will always run from one end to the other. And I chose these with the black background. You can just see there, there's the little sort of microchip inside the RGB LED. I've plugged in my Arduino. And if you go onto the website, there's loads of people that have done all the hard work for you. And I think if somebody's done it for you, then why do it yourself when you can just download it, have a fiddle about with it and uh, saves a lot of time. Thank you very much to all the people who've worked so hard on these uh, bytes of software and things. Anyway, cut a long story short. Anyway, I've downloaded the Adafruit NeoPixel and I've set it up here. This is the light count. So you'll put in 30 or 60, 120, uh, 144. And I've written that 144 just here. That's for the light count. Now this number six next to it is the pinout. So I'm going to use the digital pinout number six on here. That's the data that's going to come out and feed down the long line of the LEDs. And I've used NeoPixel RGB, which is red, green, blue. There's also another version that is green, red, blue. But I think this is the red, green, blue version. And I've set it for Neo KHZ 800, which is 800K. 
kilohertz for high density LED strips. Other than that, the only other thing I've changed in this program is this is kind of the brightness level of the LEDs for the reds and the greens and the blues and they were all set quite high and these LEDs can be really really bright so I've sort of dropped these down only because I've just read it in somebody else's website that you know they're, they're so intensely bright you want to drop them down a little bit so I've dropped these numbers down and now all I'm going to do uh, I'm going to send this to the Arduino uh, by pressing upload and the little green LEDs flash TXRX and that's done how simple is that now unplug this and I think I might have to stick it on a breadboard and let's see what we've got I like to keep a load of components in these super slim sort of filing cabinet drawers here because it's easy to get things sorted out so I'm going to need a few components I'm going to need a capacitor of about a thousand microfarads so as long as the voltage is higher than the voltage you're going to use so I'm going to use 5 volts so anything above that's going to be fine uh, so this will do 1000 microfarad 16 volts that's fine as long as the voltage is higher than what you're going to use then you're not going to blow it up that's just to kind of smooth the voltage going into the Arduino and off to the LEDs and things uh, a 470 ohm resistor now 470 is uh, yellow purple brown the brown being the one which means the amount of zeros on the end so it's 470 yellow purple brown now uh, sometimes if you buy a load of resistors like this they're already marked on all the packets so they're dead easy to use and I used one just a few days ago so it's on top of the pile there 470 yellow purple I can't really see it actually I think it's yellow purple brown but that's it we need one of those and a microphone and I strangely enough keep the microphones in the variable resistor drawer I don't know why it's because I haven't got a drawer specifically for the mic so ah that's handy that's a little powered mic so that might be useful uh, a couple of normal tiny electric microphones I'll take those as well and I'll have a variable resistor potentiometer as well just in case I need to attenuate the signal going in so I think that's all the components right let's put it together now one thing I must mention these uh, LED strips have several wires on them there's extra cables and you've got the positive and the negative which in this case is red and white and the green one is going to be the signal now it's got an extra red and white the reason for that is these take up so much power when they're all lit that it's going to draw off too much power from the Arduino and the Arduino will just crash so what you can do is use the Arduino to send the signal and then power this through these two separate wires so this is set at 5 volts and make sure the direction I've got the arrows the wrong way round so I actually want it that way round just to make it easier now I'm going to set this up on the power supply now the power supply isn't switched on so put that one in there that one in there and then power it on power it off no nothing happens because there's no signal telling the LEDs to light up what I've basically done with this sort of rat's nest here is uh, managed to actually get the thing working I'll show you what's going off here now this is the LED strip this is the Arduino uh, your microphone and your potentiometer now what I've sort of done is the signal that goes into the LED strip now bearing in mind this is running on a different power supply to the Arduino Mega but I could run the Arduino off that power supply it's just that when it all lights up bearing in mind each of these LEDs are about 20 milliamps and there's a red and a green and a blue inside each module so that's 50 to 60 milliamps 
So when all those are lit up, there's quite a voltage drop and unfortunately that will crash the Arduino. So I'm running this off a separate power supply. That's fine. Now, the uh, LED strip, so the signal going into it, I've got it coming out of pin six and you must use that resistor. I put that 470 ohm resistor in there. And what I've also found is you have to connect up the negative as well. And what I did there, I just put another 47 ohm, 47, 470, get your teeth in, start again. 470 ohm resistor there as well. So that basically uh, protects the Arduino from the LEDs and it stops a lot of this sort of signal bouncing backwards and forwards and making all sort of irrational behavior going off inside there. So that's the way to stop that. So this is going into the ground. I'll just put a G for ground. Now the microphone uh, is a powered microphone and I'm powering that from the Arduino's 5 volt output here. So the output of the microphone, I'm going into the potentiometer on one leg. Uh, the center leg of the potentiometer, I'm going into A1, which is analog input number one. And the other side of the potentiometer, I'm just connecting that into the ground. And that basically, well, apart from the five volts being stolen here, I think the five volts is about there on the Arduino. So that's going in there. And that's also going into the ground, which is there. But other than that, it seems to be working okay. Now, if I turn the potentiometer right down, it goes into a sort of a rainbow mode, which I think is quite nice. Now, that's what would happen if no signal was running into this, if you sent in a signal directly from an audio output or something. But if you turn it ever so slightly, the green comes on in the center. Now, I know this isn't stereo. It's only a mono input uh, and there's plenty of programs that show sort of stereo outputs left and right. But just set up a little bit of music to go in there. And nothing happens. Well, it's sort of happening. I guess with a bit of trimming. Okay, it's not the best piece of music to use, but uh, let's try something with a little bit more oomph. There you go. And it works. So there you go, 144 LED VU meter. Okay, it's in mono, like I said earlier, but there's plenty of other programs on the uh, website, the Arduino website, where you can do all sorts of wonderful, crazy things with this. Now, just one thing to bear in mind if you do this, if I turn this potentiometer right down so there's no signal, all the LEDs light up. Okay, they're red and green and blue and yellow, etc. They're not full on white, but already it's using 1.6 amps at five volts. Now, if these are all white, meaning the reds and the greens and the blues are on at full, that's going to easily get to two amps. So if you want to do a project like this successfully, you're going to need five volts, two amps at least for something with this amount of LEDs. Now, one last thing before I go, before I get bored of this, I'm just going to upload another little program. And uh, this is a red, green, blue chase. And I thought this was quite nice to see. Right, here we go. This is just a red, green, blue chase. So I'll leave that with you. And if you found anything interesting in this video, give us a thumbs up. And uh, any questions, just put them in the comments down below. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.